Island cell transplantation has been done for the last 30 years uh, mainly into the liver of the patients. This is a, a very valuable site for transplant, however, there is a lot of loss uh, of cells that are uh, um, implanted into the liver that will not survive the implant itself. And this has led to inconsistent results and the need for a large number of islets, often from more than one donor. We are looking at alternatives, uh, uh, alternative transplant site for uh, islet cells. And uh, we have focused recently on the omentum. The omentum is a large uh, apron structure in the, into the abdomen that provides a relatively large surface uh, where islets can be implanted. The big advantage is that uh, there is uh, plenty of space to implant uh, pure islets, but also less than pure islet preparations, which could carry with them some of the stem cells that could be uh, pushed to become beta cells. So it's an added bonus. In addition to that, uh, the big advantage is that there is uh, uh, the blood that comes, that comes from the omentum drains into the uh, liver, which is uh, close to what the pancreas does. So therefore, this could provide a better metabolic control uh, compared to the intrahepatic uh, islet transplant. Our new technique consists in transplanting the islets into plasma, which is the liquid form of the blood. By adding a, a compound that makes uh, the uh, plasma jellify, we are able to create, create, make islets adhere to the omentum, therefore making a, a closer bound, and from there they will receive the blood supply and eventually thrive and, and function. With this technique, we were able to uh, demonstrate consistently reversal of diabetes and sustained function in experimental models, and this led to the approval by the FDA of a pilot clinical trial that we are starting uh, in, in this fall that will enable us to test the site for the first time in humans. Uh, we are hoping that this will provide our uh, platform for uh, the biohub, the, thereby we will be able to incorporate all the components, the immune isolation, the local immune uh, modulation, and the oxygen delivery that will provide, uh, likely, the uh, long-term function of, of islets, hopefully without the need for lifelong immunosuppression. And this is really uh, uh, a, a ne the next step in islet cell transplantation. Thank you for helping us making a future free for T1D.